What is up, everyone? Tis I, Z Gaming Guy. I don't know if you remember me. I'm that guy with the name Z in a game. <laughs> there you go. So it's been a hot minute since I've talked to any of you, uh, since I post anything, just in general. Uh, and I figured, let's talk about it. You know, let's talk about that. Let's talk about some Z Talk stuff. I'll go over some questions. But before I get into that, you know, I'll obviously address where the fuck have you been? You know, I get the comments, and, and trust me, I think it's cool when you guys comment, like, you know, where have you been all this time, dude? I miss you, and all that stuff. Like, I know I sound dismissive. I just get awkward with, with, <laughs> with things like that. So it, for those of you who've met me in person, I'm sorry. I'm, I just get, I just uh, result, the result's just awkward. You know what I mean? I'm like, not, not that you're doing anything wrong, and I'm, I'm glad I'm meeting you, but I'm just like, huh, hey, <laughs> you know, like, that ah, cool. Kind of like, you ever... You ever go to scare someone? They, they're totally, they're totally ready to be scared. So good, and in your head you're just thinking like, oh, should I just like yell at them, or should I make like a monster sound? Like, and you're going through all these things of what you could be doing and scare them, and then they're about to turn around so you go, <laughs> and I was just like, wow, okay, well that that's essentially how that that's me. Anyway, back on track. So, uh. I've been gone due to work, obviously. I, I say it all the time, and it's still still a thing, unfortunately. Um, but also, I, I'm coming more and more to the realization that, uh, you know, a lot of you have pointed this out, and part of me was like trying to kind of like, ah, that's not it, you know. But maybe there is some sort of like mild depression or something. Basically, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm always sad about everything, but it's more of the. Uh, lack of motivation that I, I suffer from a lot and when when I first started doing YouTube and I did it for like daily videos for what, about a year or so uh, I was super motivated uh, I was always studying like how to be better at YouTube I was always listening responding to a bunch of comments uh, and I still try to respond to comments but not as much as I used to for sure and that was on top of my like 40 to 50 hour per week job and now uh, I just don't have it, that, that motivation anymore, and I just don't, with a lot of things in general right now, just in life, you know, and that's just, uh, just kind of how it is, unfortunately. Um, I'm, I haven't really looked into ways to, like, fix that. Maybe I should, uh, but that's just kind of, <laughs> but my lack of motivation is causing me not to. So, um, that's kind of where we're at right now, and as much as I liked, or, you know, was kind of denying it I the potential for it being some sort of depression I guess is there uh, I just always looked at depression as more of you know de being depressed sad not so much um, lethargic you know but I suppose that also counts from what I've here from what I hear uh, so who knows maybe that's a thing but hey just wanted to throw that out there you know I just I love you guys just gotta let you know got to put out a video at some point explaining the situations uh, for anyone who wanted to know. And to answer real quick, sorry, uh, if I'm gonna keep posting videos or if I'm kind of like stepping away from it, it, it the answer kind of goes back to what I think I said before. Um, it's, been, it's been a while, so I'm, I'm, I don't even remember. Which is, yes, but not as regularly. Um, so there's still series where I, I wanna do, I've always said this, like The Last of Us Part Two. they finally announced the date for that. Um, potentially Death Stranding. I might just stream some of that. I'm not sure yet. And, you know, Super Smash Bros. stuff here. There's stuff that I, I... you Just imagine, like, you're posting videos for your friends. That's how I'm looking at it. Like, you guys are, like, my friends. But I'm like, hey, check out this cool experience. You know, experience it with me. Of course, Subnautica. Uh, and and I st even still, when I play games on my own, I'm like, oh, should I record this? And I'm like, why, though? Like, I haven't been recording. Like, I can just not <laughs> you know like there's that little angel demon on me saying this stuff so that's kind of what's going on so generally uh during z talks because we're going on to the question portion the, the thing that we all we all really want um normally i would go over like your answers and elaborate further on them from when i'm when you're when i'm asking you about something but i'm going to move on to the questions you're asking me directly because it's been like two months since i've done this so we're just going to move on to the fresh and nitty gritty stuff. So starting off with Aristidus, who's bullying me because I can't pronounce his name. He wants me to pronounce his last name, which is 
Serotos, Serotos, dude, Serotos sounds cool. If it's not that, change it to that. <laughs> I'm gonna say Serotos. Uh, but he does have a question regarding the anime Death Note. Um, so this is, if 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 you've seen Death Note, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna try to keep it vague just because it's kind of spoilerish. But they're asking if I agree with Light and the way he views the world, and I kind of do. Like when I was when I saw Infinity War and with Thanos, I was like, I kind of see where Thanos is coming from. You know, <laughs> I'm always that guy. Uh, I think Light took it to a different extreme that wasn't necessary. There was a certain point where he crossed a line to, for me, but like I totally can see where he's coming from, and that's the scary part. Like, that's the whole thing of Death Note is like it, it's easy to see why he's doing what he's doing. So uh, good anime for the first half. The second half kind of sucks, but I'd recommend the first half. Next up we have Paish <laughs> asking, uh, "Do I now that I have a Switch, do I plan on getting any?" past releases that I may have missed, or if there's anything I plan on buying. And I might have mentioned this, I might not have, but Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is one I got. Oh, oh I also got Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, I play I play a ton of Smash, though. Like, <laughs> I've become such a geek for Smash. Like, if, if you know much about Smash, I mean, I'm at the point where I'm saying, like, Nair, Dare, F Smash, uh, Footstool, stuff like that. So if you, like, if you know what I'm talking about, then you're also a Smash Bros. nerd. And then, I, like I said, I played Fire Emblem. And uh, I got decently far into it, but the thing with JRPGs, there's so much grind to it. And they're so goddamn long, such a commitment. Um, and it's just different storytelling than here in the West. Uh, like The Witcher, I could easily just binge that. But there's something about JRPGs that I have a harder time with. Despite me like being an anime fan, um, I, didn't, I didn't push through to the very end. Mainly because more games come out and I'm like, oh, I gotta play this game now. So that's kind of where I'm at. And as for planned purchases, potentially Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, I go, I know it's a JRPG, but a lot of Nintendo things are. <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at with the Switch games. All right, next up, Mr. Blooper says, I know this is a random question, but what's the background music? I really love it. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Uh, actually, I usually use like medieval tavern playlists uh, as my background music because I, I just love the medieval themed music or like the Scottish music. I, I don't, why do people dislike bagpipes, first of all? Let's get that out of the way. Bagpipes are fucking cool. And they're impressive lung power, like a demon slayer. There you go. There's, there's, your, there's your anime reference. I'm cool now. I'm glad to see all the comments here is saying that uh, swords are cooler than guns and stuff like that. You guys know your stuff. I admire you. All right, next up we got a fairly serious question by Ray Ray, and he acknowledges that this will need to be paraphrased because it is a long question. Basically, it's about peer pressure and uh, people kind of, like, the idea of, like, let's just say how drinking is cool, right? So, like, when you turn 21, it's like, oh, man, you're supposed to get smashed, like that kind of mindset. Uh, so, basically... He does not smoke or drink, and for the record, neither do I. I never have had a drop of alcohol or a puff of smoke or anything like that. And his buddy wanted to stop smoking, and someone else kind of convinced him to keep going for one last smoke, and it kept going. And uh, just my thoughts on the matter of that peer pressure type of situation. And it's stupid. It really is. There's, like, no reason for it. People have to push their ideas onto others, you know what I mean? And... If if your friend who is trying to stop desires to stop and you're supporting that decision, not like forcing him into it, then that's good. Whereas the other person who kind of corroses them into going back to it, you know what I mean? The lure. That's not good. Now, if they were someone who smoked, acknowledged the consequences and were fine with it and wanted to keep doing it, then I don't think it's anyone's right to say you shouldn't do it or you can't do it. Uh, as much as I don't like it. If, if my good friends are smoking, I don't want them to do it because I know it's not good and I know that they'd be better off not doing it and it just save them money. So I'm, I'm more hard on my good friends than I am random people or coworkers. Um, but as for like trying to get people to do it just because like it's the cool thing, especially, it's really stupid. You know, I've gotten told that so many times where people hear that I haven't drank or anything and they're like, Oh, well, I can't wait to take your drinking virginity. And I'm like, oh, you're so funny, you know? Uh, <laughs> or I, it's always these awkward situations where since I live in Idaho, there'll always be that guy. I'll be like, oh, how's your day going when I'm at work? 
like, oh, just going to crack a brewski when I get home or something. And he'll like laugh. And, you know, I'm just like, okay, why aren't you cool? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and it's not, I don't try to look down on people who drink or smoke, but sometimes I do without meaning to. And I know I shouldn't because it's not like they make some terrible people. But I just, you know, I just don't like the people who prioritize that kind of stuff over like necessities, you know, like, oh, I never have gas for my car, but I always have my bag of weed. Like those people can just fuck right off, you know, like they, they're just totally irresponsible. Um, but there's plenty of people out there who are cool who do those things, you know, and I know someone who has done a lot of things and he does it now, but he's a he's a cool dude. Um, I'm kind of getting off topic, sorry, but <laughs> it's just a it's a topic I'm very passionate about, okay? You can't take my passion away from me. And no, peer pressure's stupid. Don't do it, please. If someone doesn't want to drink or smoke, don't make them. Just respect their decision, one way or the other. That's, that, that's all. All right, and last question is from Kyle Lopez, and to paraphrase a bit, uh, he's asking how long it takes me to, before I scrap like a series or I stop, you know, uploading, obviously, um, if the views aren't good enough, based, in other words. Because, you know, he's saying that, like, some games, well, games in general, will have slow beginnings and people are waiting for, like, the more interesting parts. Stuff like that. Um, and while that's true to, to a degree, for sure, it's not like, obviously not all games fall under that. Um, but even still, like, let's take the recent uh, Man of Medan, for example. The beginning of the game is pretty bad. <laughs> the first episode's not that great. Second and beyond, it gets more interesting. But I've still watched four other people play the game, and I've watched it from the very beginning, just because I want to kind of see their thoughts on the beginning still. Uh, and I would hope other people would do that too. And if they don't, you know, I always, okay, I, this might be being hard on myself, but I look at it as like, there's a point, there's a certain amount where you want to watch for the game, but I hope people come more because they want to watch me. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that I'm capable of making the video interesting enough, whether it be through commentary or editing, that they will still come in and watch the first part. And if they don't, then that's, they're just not interested enough of me, or I'm just not doing a good job, <laughs> you know? So if the views aren't there, and typically the, the trend is, the, the first episode will be the most amount of views, but then it tapers off after each and every episode. And then the very, the end, the ending will, have a lot too that's you can look at pretty much any series and that's always how it goes with every youtuber um so if the peak <laughs> of the first episode isn't much and the second one shows the taper off then i'm kind of like okay this doesn't seem like it's worth it you know um because there's a lot of times i just want to play the game but i it, when it comes to recording i need to set t like a lot of time aside and i can't just play it for three hours straight or something i gotta play it for like 30 minutes to an hour which people still say is a long time, but some some like it. Um, and then I ha can't play it for the rest of the night or anything because I gotta render it and edit it and yada, yada, yada. So if it looks like people aren't interested enough and uh, showing it, like, it, so it's one thing too, is like, let's say I have a thousand views, like, okay, let's say I have 10,000 views with like 20 comments. Um, but obviously this isn't a lot of comments, but I still see that 10,000, I'm like, well, Quite a few people watched it, but let's just say I had 850 views, but 50 comments, more activity in the comments. Like it, it tricks me into thinking there's more interest in it than there really is. You know what I mean? Um, and I, and I know if I step back and look at it logically, it's not the case necessarily, but seeing actual reactions to it versus a number go up is is a bigger difference to me. And I feel like a lot of others than you might expect. And you know, it's it's crazy to me that there's so many people, there's hundreds of people who watch like every video I put out that I never hear from. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because you watch it on phones or consoles or something, but I'm like, man, like I don't even know the username or I've probably never even seen a comment for so many of these people, but they watch like every video. And I'm like, I kind of, I wonder why they watch it. You know, is it just they're they're, they like me, they, they happen to like the games I play, they just have it on the background. You know, like, it, it goes through my head a lot, because um, I'm an overthinker, overanalyzer. So, again, how am I going off topic so much? You guys, look what you do to me. This is because it's late at night that <laughs> this is happening. So, to answer your question, 
two episodes with lo sub 1,000 views typically might cause that, unless there's like a ton of comments, like showing a ton of support. Yes, also, I know Pogo Stuck has more than the amount of likes that I asked for. <laughs> I know when I should play it, I should at the very least give it another part for the people who made it happen at some point. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for the questions. Uh, like I said, I'll probably stream some Death Stranding. Uh, maybe like if enough people are showing up to the streams. Okay, serious question though. Do you want me, because I, I haven't asked this in a while, but the view numbers kind of tell the answer, but I want to hear it from you guys directly, the ones who are here in this video. If I'm streaming Death Stranding or just streaming in general, would you prefer it on YouTube or Twitch? Currently, or lately, or the last time, <laughs> I've stre been streaming on Twitch. Um, there's just some features that are just better over there. But, like, compared to how much show up to YouTube, it's very low. So, if it's... And, but more people have been following, so it's like, if you're still interested in going over to Twitch, let me know. But if you're like, I'd rather just stay on YouTube, let me know. So that way, if I do stream Death Stranding, I'll do it on the platform that I see more of down below. So you guys want to know what it's like to live with me or work with me or something? Just be around me in general. <laughs> it's, it's horrible, I'm sure. Uh, one of my coworkers, when I was coming out of the bathroom, they were like, did you just take a shit? And I was like, no, I, I left it in there. <laughs> they're just giving me that look like i fucking hate you <laughs> like why would i take the shit out of there come on that's silly anyway sorry i'm just bullshitting with you guys because it's been a while since i've talked to you okay i missed you but it is getting late and we've gone through the questions i've answered some of the potential channel questions as well so i guess we'll just have to wait till the next time huh in like two months <laughs> hopefully not that long like i said I'll post games occasionally, but it's just when the motivation's there. Just, you can, if you want to consider the channel dead, it's more accurate to say than it's active. So, again, unless some crazy wave of motivation comes across me, but uh, just don't count on that, all right? Like, I, I don't want to get your hopes up about stuff. Also, speaking of getting your hopes up about stuff, I've been getting a hankering for some Minecraft. Like, Minecraft has just blown up because of PewDiePie. Thank you, PewDiePie. For, but, like... Everyone's being like, oh, I've done this in Minecraft is the title for everything. And I'm like, God, at least be a little original about it. Just don't try to blatantly rip it off. But like, you know, I've been kind of looking over the mods of Minecraft. I'm like, oh, God, these sound fun. And I like rewatched my first episode of the series. I was like, oh, this, this looks so good. And I've just been kind of like wanting to play it again. I'm like, should I, should I make another series? I'm like, but, but what if I get like four episodes in and I stop wanting to do it? <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. So... I don't know. Maybe I'll do something on that, but I, like I said, I don't want to get hopes up here because I know some of you really liked it, and that's definitely one of the things people keep asking me to go back to, that in the forest. But, oh, God, I just need motivation. Just work on it, Zachary. Anyway, I've babbled on long enough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.